Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about World Environment Day. Why? Because today is June 5 and every year we are celebrating World Environment Day on June 5. Now this year 2020 has begun with lots of environment crisis, right? Like the wildfires in or forest fires in tropical regions, bushfires in Brazil, Australia and US. Then there have been lots of cyclones and floods and also there have been lots of locust attacks and recently in uh, Africa and India. Okay, then also recently we are having the uh, global disease pandemic, COVID-19, right? So all these kinds of environmental crises which demonstrate the interdependence of humans. So all these marks the importance of protecting the environment. So the World Environment Day that were focusing on the protection of environment and they were working on the awareness creation campaigns. And we know that we are now in the sixth mass extinction. We are facing the sixth mass extinction, right? So as we are in the sixth mass extinction, it is high time to rethink on our relationship with the uh, living world or environment or the mother earth okay so this world nvm day helps on that so this world nvm day is a united nations nvm day global event observed annually on 5th june for encouraging worldwide awareness and action for the protection of our environment right so for the protection of environment and for creating or encouraging the worldwide awareness on the protection of environment united nations nvm program annually organizes this World Environment Day. Okay, so UNEP annually organizes events for the World Environment Day. Right. Now, this World Environment Day, it was established by United Nations General Assembly to mark the opening of United Nations Conference on Human Environment in 1972. That means it is also called as Stockholm Conference. So, we know the importance of Stockholm Conference. Right. Stockholm Conference 1972. It was called as Magna Carta of Environment. Right. So this Stockholm conference was called as Magna Carta of Environment because the conference is considered as a marking the birth of international environmental policies. So that's why Stockholm conference was called as Magna Carta of Environment. Okay. And also by this Stockholm conference, we got the UNEP. So UNEP was formed after this Stockholm conference. Right. So that much importance this Stockholm conference is having. So in order to mark the opening of or in order to commemorate the opening of this United Nations uh, Conference on Human Environment, we are celebrating that June 5 as World Environment Day. Okay, so it was first held in 1974. So, started since 1974, World Environment Day is the most renowned day for environmental action. So, the day is celebrated by engaging the governments, business, celebrities and citizens to focus their efforts on addressing environmental issues. Environmental issues like the uh, marine pollution, human population like that. Okay, so World NVM Day serves as a flagship campaign for raising awareness on emerging NVM issues from marine pollution, human over, uh, overpopulation and global warming to sustainable consumption and wildlife crime. Right. So, these are some areas where they are focusing on. Okay. So, the, according to United Nations, the celebration of this day provides us with an opportunity to broaden the basis for an enlightened opinion and responsible conduct by individuals, enterprises and communities in preserving and enhancing the environment. Okay, so that's what UN says. So we said that UN environment or UNEP, they are conducting the World Environment Day or they are organizing the World Environment Day every year, right? But there have been separate selected countries to host this, right? So every World Environment Day is hosted by different country in which official celebrations takes place. Okay, so this year's World Environment Day host is Colombia in partnership with Germany. Okay. And World Environment Day will be having a theme. Right. So this year, the theme of World Environment Day 2020 is Biodiversity, a concern that is both urgent and existential. Okay. So that is the theme for World Environment Day 2020. Biodiversity, a concern that is both urgent and existential. Okay. And also, on the website of World Environment Day 2020, you can also see a quote, Time for Nature. Okay, so these are the main points we have to remember regarding World Environment Day. Right, now let's move on to the model question. With reference to World Environment Day, consider the following statement. First statement, World Environment Day is an UN Environment led global event celebrating each year. Is it? Yes, it is celebrating each year on June 5 and it is led by United Nations Environment Program or UN Environment. Okay, so first statement is correct. We eliminated B. Then second. It is observed on June 5th 
for encouraging worldwide awareness and action for the protection of our environment. So that is also correct. Right. So we got the answer as D1 to N3 because A and C does not have a 2. Right. So without going for the third statement we got the answer D1, 2 and 3. Okay. So just go for the third statement also. It was established by the United Nations General Assembly to mark the opening of United Nations Conference on Human Environment in 1972. That means Stockholm Conference. Right. So the answer for this question is D, 1, 2 and 3.